wow, the Pokemon company really did it this time. This new VMAX EV premium collection box is absolute fire. But before we get into the video, I'm Kakashi with Kanto Capital and I like to talk about and share my Pokemon card investing journey. I think my experience in business and finance really gives me what I think to be a unique outlook and perspective on the hobby. So if you enjoy this type of content, consider liking and subscribing and your support and the support of the patrons is a big reason that I'm still able to find time to upload. So thank you so much for your support. And a quick shout out to the patrons. As a patron, you're gonna get exclusive content, discover how I'm investing in more detail, Q&A videos, and plenty more. So link is in the description if you're interested in that. All right, and back to this VMAX Premium Collection box. It's really bringing the heat. I mean, this collection is just, it's crazy. But you probably already know that if you're watching this video. But in case you don't know the details, here's the rundown. It features the Always Love Evolutions. In this case, it features Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Flareon, depending on the collection. And in each box, you're going to get a pin of the featured Pokemon. You're going to get a full art, alternate art V card. You're going to get a full art, alternate art V Max card. And a jumbo version of that V Max card. Five blister packs. And that's all going to cost $39.99. And what's really great about this new product is what we didn't get in Evolving Skies. And I heard some really harsh criticisms about Evolving Skies when the set was first revealed because we didn't get all the Evolution cards. So people were kind of downplaying Evolving Skies as if it wasn't a great set. And I also kept hearing some people saying that the Japanese version Eevee Heroes was the actual real set. But I mean, really, if we just look at things with an unbiased opinion, I don't care how you look at it. If we just look at the cards and nothing else and didn't compare it to anything else, Evolving Skies is really a fantastic set regardless of whether it has all the EV cards or not. It has a ton of great cards that people will be extremely happy to have. The artwork is next level amazing. Evolving Skies purely on its own is a loaded set. And I can understand if maybe you were a little disappointed at first, if you're a big fan of the Eevee Lucians and Eevee and you wanted to collect them all, I completely understand if maybe you were a little disappointed. But thanks to this newly announced product, if you were patient and you didn't FOMO into Eevee Heroes, if you didn't eat up everything that all the negativity that people were talking about with Evolving Skies, this Evolution Premium Collection is your reward for being patient. And I don't know if you noticed, but I've been talking a lot about patience and FOMO on this channel lately. And that's because of where the hobby sits and where the market sits today. And we have to keep in mind, especially if you've been on this channel for a long time. So if you've been here since the beginning or so let's say six months ago, you know, just for perspective, over a year ago, I talked a lot about opportunity in the hobby because that's what I saw in the hobby at that time. And then prices went to the moon and we went completely historic level with Logan Paul and all the craziness in the hobby last year. And then near the beginning of this year, I preached caution based again on where the market was at that time. And prices started falling just a month or two later after I talked about caution. Now, because of where the market and where the hobby is today, I'm going to stress and urge you to be patient and watch out for that FOMO herd mentality thinking. And, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm wrong. But hey, that's what I believe. And I'm never going to tell you what to do with your money. I mean, I'm just a random person on YouTube who invests in the Pokemon cards. But I'm going to tell you what I think regardless. And this Evolution Premium Collection box is a very nice reminder of what patience can bring you. Not only do we get the Full Art V cards that was cut from our English set that, you know, got Evolving Skies a lot of the criticism, but we're also getting the VMAX alternate art cards that will be limited to only 3,000 copies in Japan. I mean, just think of how expensive those cards are going to be when they're released in Japan. But we're going to be getting those cards in English with the same beautiful artwork inside of a regular release retail product. That is crazy good news. And maybe some of the most hardcore collectors might disagree, but I'd say that we get the better deal here. Since the full art V cards are in this collection box, 
that's less product that you have to rip open to get the cards you want. And then those VMAX full art cards, being that those are lottery cards in Japan, many people, and that includes myself, people like me, I thought that we would never see those cards or that artwork in English. But we're actually going to get them. We're getting the artworks, we're getting those cards, and we're getting them in a fairly standard release product. And this is yet another example of how staying patient can really net you some amazing deals and save you a lot of money and potentially make you a lot of money if you're willing to just take your time, assess the situation, and be patient when it makes sense to do so. And I just want to point out that I do think being decisive is a good thing. It's important to know when to be decisive, but there's also a fine line between being decisive and being reckless. And if you want perspective, I mean, it wasn't that long ago that Vivid Voltage booster boxes, those were as high as, I want to say, $250 if my memory serves correct. It was very expensive, well above $200. And now we're at a much more reasonable $150. So we had a very significant drop. That's what, maybe about 40% drop. You would have overpaid by $100 on those booster boxes if you fumbled in then. I remember when the Requaza Amazing Rares, they were selling for around $40 at release and they dropped to 30 and then the 25 and then the 20 and now they sit somewhere between 10 and $15. Another huge drop off from where it started. And I even made a video on this channel talking about that I still wasn't going to buy Amazing Rares a couple months ago and now the prices are down another 20 to 30% since then. And I also talked about it in Patreon explaining in detail why I was still cautious on Vivid Voltage Amazing Rares. And maybe I got lucky, but the prices are down even further since then, which means we get an even better deal if you are willing to wait. So lucky or not, I'll take it. But these are just a couple examples of how patience can really pay off if you're willing to wait. And now we have this EV Evolutions VMAX collection box and you combine that with Evolving Skies, we pretty much get it all. We get everything that the Japanese get. Obviously, from an investment perspective, you want to buy something when it's cheap, not expensive. As an investor, the goal is to make money and for you to create value from your purchases. And you can't do that if you're buying everything at the top when the excitement and the demand is at the peak. And even as a pure collector, it's nice to know that you didn't buy a card that, you know, regardless of whether you love it or not, it's nice to know that you didn't buy a card and then watch it drop in price by half or even 70 or 80% from the price that you paid. And I don't know about you, but for me, that would take away some of the joy when you look at a card that let's say you pay $100 for and now it's selling for 30 bucks. That would take some of the joy away for me. And this is why as an investor, as a collector, it's important to have discipline and to be patient. And sure, sometimes you might miss out on some things by being patient. Maybe some things will go to the moon without you. Maybe EV Heroes booster boxes do go to the moon and they become worth $500. I don't know. But that's why the term FOMO exists. The fear of missing out. We worry so much about missing out. We want to go to the moon. We all want to be invited to the Lambo chicken tendies party. But the reality is that there's always going to be another party. There will always be another one. There was the dot-com boom. There was the housing boom. There was Amazon. There was Google. There was crypto. There's NFTs. There's always going to be another Dogecoin story. And that goes the same for Pokemon. If you missed out on Cosmic Eclipse, if you missed out on the Charizard V Max, or if you missed out on Amazing Rares, if you missed out on Eevee Heroes, there will always be something else. And that's part of what makes the hobby so much fun and so exciting. And I know it hurts to miss out sometimes, but that feeling will pass. The FOMO will pass. Now no one even cares about the Darkness of Blaze Charizard. No one cares about Champion's Path anymore. Now it's all about Pikachu and Eevee. And it's going to be something else a year from now. But I'll tell you what really hurts. To me, what really hurts is paying $100 for a Cosmic Eclipse Secret Rare Pikachu that you can buy for $50 now. To me, that just sucks. It hurts paying the day one price of $300 for a Darkness of Blaze Charizard V Max that now you can buy for around 60 bucks. That hurts. And by the way, I just have to comment, 
it took forever for that Charizard V Max to drop below $100. I mean, I remember I watched it drop to $200 and then $150 and it would kind of hint at dropping below $100, but it would always stay between $100 and $120. And I don't know when it dropped below $100, but I looked at the price now and apparently it's around $60 bucks now. But anyway, another example, Rayquaza Amazing Rares, they were around $40 when it first came out. The other Amazing Rares were around $20. And it's taken almost a year, but a lot of those cards are now down about 60 to 70% from its initial release. And guess what? It's a lot easier to make a profit if you're buying everything cheap and you're buying them at rock bottom prices. And it's a lot easier to build a massive collection if your money goes three times, four times, five times further than the person next to you. And with the way the market is today, Patience is more valuable than ever because prices are rising and falling faster than they ever have before. Speculation in the hobby has never been this crazy as it is today. And so that is why I choose to wait and I choose to be patient because I know it hurts to grossly overpay. And I know there's always going to be another opportunity where I think the value is obvious and I think the risk is low. And I don't know about you. But I like buying low and I like selling high. And surprise, surprise, a lot of people tend to make money that way. So be patient. Wait for the right deals because you never know what's going to happen. And this Evolution VMAX Premium Collection Box is just one more friendly reminder that good things come to those who wait. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also consider checking out Patreon. You'll discover how I'm investing in the hobby and my insights on the market, Q&A videos, and plenty more of private exclusive content. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kakashi with Kanto Capital. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.